Hello, my people. You welcome back again. This is breaking, and it is on the bad side. You must have heard rumors, news that Ikwe Kuremaru, who has been in the United Kingdom uh, prison for some months now, in fact, since 2022, on the allegation of organ trafficking, in fact, not on the allegation, he has been convicted of organ trafficking. The only thing pending is the pronouncement of judgment of sentencing of Ike Kirimadu, his wife Beatrice Ike Kirimadu, and of course, you know, the middleman doctor, Obino Beta, who helped in facilitating the transportation of a young Nigerian, a street hawker, to the United Kingdom for the purpose of harvesting his organ, specifically his kidney, for the purpose of transplanting such to help Sonia Ekuremadu, the daughter of the Ekuremadus. But the news we are hearing now, in fact it is a rumor, is that Ekuremadu has been sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. I'm here to tell you that that is a rumor. That is fake news. It is a lie. It has no iota of truth. On the 23rd of March, 2023, I did a detailed uh, uh, content about the uh, traverse of the Ekuremadus in the United Kingdom concerning this uh, uh, organ harvesting case. And I remember I said it clearly. For those of you who follow, I give a detailed, a comprehensive information about the circumstances and what happened to the the point of the time I was doing that uh, content on the 23rd of March. And then the court decided that Ekuremadus and the doctor were guilty of organ trafficking and they will be sentenced, but they have not been sentenced. The court stated they will be sentenced on May 5th, 2023. Today is May 2nd, 2023. So the Ekure have not been sentenced. Any news contrary to that is fake. It is pathetic that Ekure is going through this. And of course, it is more pathetic that it seems to me now that there are more people, it's like there are people who are happy seeing Ekuremadu going to jail because since the last time Ekuremadu and the doctor appeared in court when the court said they were guilty of the offense the court has not sat on their case again the court will sit on may 5th and then then is when the sentence will be pronounced so for anybody to come and say the Ekuremadus have been given 10 years imprisonment is a lie. It is not correct. It has no iota of truth. Some people will just wake up. Maybe they are hiding. They can't do anything. They find nothing to do. And they start to spread rumor. And it's about that those who think they are big are bloggers are carrying the same rumor. And remember, between the time the Ekuremadus were convicted, and now, former president Lucia Gobasanjo has written a letter to the clerk of the court in the United Kingdom, pleading, highlighting the various positions, the various uses, the various relevancies uh, the man, Ike Kurimadu, and how important he has been to the country and the development of democracy in this country. Former President Lucien Gobasanjo pleaded that the humiliation, the pain, uh, the confinement that the Ekuremadus have suffered were enough as punishment for the former Deputy Senate President of Nigeria. If you remember, if you follow closely, Senate, a former Senate President Ekuremadu had been in the Senate for many, many years. I think from 2003, he has been a Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So in the opinion of 
former president of the Gomba Sanjo, a man of that status, a man of that class, who has contributed immensely to the development of Nigeria, especially political development and democracy in Nigeria, should not be allowed to uh, suffer J10. That is the opinion of former president Olusegun Obasanjo. And if you remember, and that's my content on March 23rd, I said it that I was looking at uh, a position where the federal government of Nigeria will come into this matter and do a diplomatic uh, settlement of this case. But that seems not to be working. That seems not to be working because since the letter of former president Olusegun Obasanjo, the United Kingdom has not said anything concerning it. That means they are bent on Jelly, Equimadus, and the doctor. However, some people have the opinion that the United Kingdom are unnecessarily rigid in this case because the case is a billable case. It's a billable offense. And it was only Beatrice Equimadu that was given bail uh, initially. Equimadu and the doctor were denied bail. But be as it may, May 5th, I assure you, you are going to hear the pronouncement. You are going to see how many years the Kuremadus and the doctor, Obi no Beta, will spend behind bars. So, this is what I said I should quickly bring to you. Again, I repeat, any news that says the Kuremadus have been sentenced to 10 years imprisonment concerning organ trafficking is false. It is not correct. It is the only work of rumor mongers. So, stay tuned to this channel as I will give you correct updates of events happening in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, especially that of the Ekure Maru that is a few days away. Thank you very much for coming again. Remain blessed as usual as I give you another content which is factual and not rumor. Remain blessed. Thank you.